What is up awesome peeps? Brent McCleskey here, Electrified Reviews, and today we are reviewing the Michael Blast Vacay electric bike. This is a very moto inspired, kind of chopper inspired lines in this bike. Really sweet ride, very cool lifestyle e-bike. We're gonna dive into specs on this one right here, but first let's roll the B-roll. All right, awesome peeps. Again, this is the Michael Blast Vacay electric bike right here. This is the third bike that we have reviewed from the company Michael Blast. They've got some really, really cool, pretty unique lifestyle kind of e-bikes. That's really what the name of their game is. Uh, this one, the Vacay, starts for $21.99 USD, $2,199 USD, but that is for the 350 watt version for the motor here. You can also get a 500 watt version, but if you want that, the price does jump pretty considerably up to $2,799 or $2,799 USD for the 500 watt version. So you'll have to consider, do you want to pay the extra money for the 150 extra watts of power or do you want to just maybe save 500 bucks or something, you know, and just keep it 350, up to you. Um, these guys though, Michael Blast, one of the things I really appreciate about, about them is the warranty. The warranty on their bikes is fantastic. I think they have like a two week return policy or something like that. One year comprehensive and like a five year warranty on the frame. So really, really, really good warranty. If something goes wrong, you got a long time to exercise or kind of claim that warranty if something does happen to fail on, you know, on your ride and that's a nice feeling of security especially when you are ordering direct order uh, direct order you know to your home you might not get a chance to ride this thing first you know to see exactly if it fits for you whatever and so being able to have like a return policy you know, and the warranty it's just it's, it's really good stuff now right now they've got a couple of colors for the vacay they got this black color right here they've also got kind of like a maroon almost like an orangey red color it's pretty sweet uh, they got a couple different accents that you can get as well for the black and that maroon color you can change the rim the color of the wall the walls here of the tires you can have them white or i think like yellow and green some other colors like that so that's kind of cool another very nice thing about this bike is this is the traditional kind of step over frame, which I prefer, uh, but they also do have a step through frame where that top tube kind of really sinks down low, making the standover height very low on this bike. Makes it more approachable if you do want that style of e-bike. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the specs on the Michael Blast VK, starting back here with the motor, which is gonna be a 500 watt Bafang hub motor. Uh, that's the version that we have right here. 500 watts of power, nominal, about maybe 750 watts or so of peak power. I think it's about 65 newton meters of torque, maybe 80 newton meters of torque. I uh, can't recall exactly, but these motors from Bafang, they are very peppy, they're very powerful. Uh, they're some of our favorite motors, no doubt. This motor right here brings the bike up to a top speed of, I think it's set at 15 miles per hour out of the box, but that can be changed really, really easily. In the display right here on the left, I'll show you guys how to do that later. You can crank the speed up to 32 miles per hour, but that's just electronically. The motor kind of winds out at about 23 miles per hour, even downhill. It just doesn't really spin faster than that. So the top speed really for this bike, when it's unlocked, is gonna be about 23, 24 miles per hour. So that does mean that, you know, if you wanna take us on specific trails that only allow class two, you can do that as long as you keep it in the class two configuration. If you want more speed out of it, you can crank it up to a class three, unlock it, do with it whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Now for the battery, one of my favorite parts about this bike actually is the battery cover on this. We're gonna have a 48 volt, 14.6 amp hour battery for a max estimated range of about 35 to 40 miles, somewhere around there. Like we always say with max estimated range, it's just that, it's just an estimate. You could get a little bit more out of this, probably you're gonna get less out of it in the real world scenario. Just like miles per gallon in a car, if you drive it on the freeway, you get more miles out of it. Out of it. You drive it around town, stopping and starting, um, you get less miles out of it. That's just, that's just the name of the game, that's how it all works, right? Now what's cool about this battery, it is locking and removable, but it comes with this pretty sweet like leather, it's a real leather case that covers the whole battery and it just looks so clean really adds that sweet little lifestyle look here. You can throw some, I mean, whatever, some tools, like an Allen wrenches, whatever you want here in this little pouch. 
Got a pouch on this side, a little zipper pouch. Boom, just looks, I think it looks just super dope. I really, really dig that. Um, again, it's just a small touch, uh, but I have not seen that before. And whenever we see something unique, I just think it's definitely worth calling out. You know what I'm saying? Having the battery in this location as well in the down tube is a good place to have it. It keeps the center of gravity in the bike nice and low. Um, it also makes the bike pretty well balanced, right? Because you've got the motor in the back here that makes it more back heavy, but instead of having the, the battery in the back as well behind the seat post, it's on the down tube, keeping the bike pretty well balanced. So I, that, that's a good place to keep it there. For the derailleur, we got a Shimano Altus seven-speed derailleur. Nice little upgrade from the Shimano Tourney. Does it really matter what the, what the derailleur is on a hub motor? Not so much, but I do appreciate that, you know, Michael Blast went through the effort of just basically going ahead and upgrading that component for us. It does make for smoother shifting, makes for a nicer ride, and it's definitely appreciated. On the right-hand side here, we've got the trigger shifters. Again, seven-speed right here, boom switch gears, you know, basic stuff. Little bell right here on the right side. Nice little up, you know, easy, good, cool. Um, braking on this is probably one of my only, maybe my, well, yeah, it's gonna be my only gripe, I think, for this bike. So the braking is not bad. <laughs> it's not a good way to start it. The braking on this is definitely very good. We've got um, mechanical disc brakes, uh, Tektro, Ariga, I believe it is, no, no, Tektro, is it Ariga? I don't recall. No, it's not Ariga, it's just the, it's just Tektro disc brakes, mechanical, 180 millimeter rotors in the front and the rear there. It does have motor inhibitors, so whenever I depress the brake levers, it's gonna automatically cut power to the motor back there, ensuring I have the shortest possible stopping distance. Great safety feature. Now, the reason I say I have a gripe with it, I guess is just because for the price point of especially $27.99 um, for that 500 watt motor, I'm gonna want hydraulic disc brakes. And, I don't know. I honestly would rather see a Shimano Tourney derailleur have a lower piece of equipment there and have better braking just because, again, this is lifestyle, right? This is about the feel of riding. And mechanical disc brakes, they just don't feel as nice. They don't feel as sweet on the hands compared to hydraulic disc brakes. For those of you guys who've tried both, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. But look, that being said, the braking power on this is still more than enough. It's more than ample braking power, especially at the slower speeds of around 23 to 24 miles per hour, compared to some of these pedelecs going 28 miles per hour, 32 miles per hour, stuff like that. So um, yeah, just trying to be nitpicky here because honestly, everything else on this bike is, is pretty much perfect. The headlight is probably one of my favorite pieces I gotta turn it on here. The headlight is just so dope on these bikes. This is, I think they've got them on all the Michael Blast bikes. I'm just gonna turn this on right there. Hold up on the plus button. There we go. Yeah, the headlights are just so sweet, man. They're very moto inspired. And the coolest thing about them is their functionality. You can actually use this headlight, man, to see where you're going at night. It's bright enough to illuminate your path, at least at slower speeds. Whereas most of the lights we see are just kind of like I don't know, almost like an afterthought. Like all they really do is increase visibility. They allow people to see you coming, but they don't really allow you to see the trail. This one, it's got quite a bit of output. It's a pretty bright light. And uh, honestly, I just looked at it from the, from, with my eye, not from the screen, and it like blurred my vision. That's how bright it is, even in the shade right here of the, you know, of like midday. So nice light, honestly, looks sweet. There's a side view. I mean, it looks straight like something you see off of a motorcycle, right? And again, that's really kind of the, the point of this bike, I think. Now, what's interesting about the VK and some of the other bikes, Michael Blast, is there's no suspension on this. You'll see it's got solid front forks, okay? No rear suspension. The only thing we have for suspension is that seat post, little spring suspension right there. So it is a stiffer ride, of course, than a ride with suspension, but overall, it's still not that bad. The forks here are steel. That's vibration dampening. It's gonna help soak up some of the, the, the road noise. The tires here as well, 26 inch by three, by three inch fat tires. They got a lot of air volume. They're gonna act as their own sort of suspension. They, they will have suspension qualities here. Uh, they make for a very smooth ride. So it's not as smooth as something with suspension but it's also not as heavy as adding suspension as well. This bike is kind of lightweight for how big it is. It's about 61 pounds and that's somewhat surprising. I expected it to be about 75, almost 80 pounds. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want suspension, this may not be the bike for you, but uh, you know, you're not gonna be going off-road with it. So honestly, I don't think you really need suspension on this bike. That's just my personal preference. Now, 
Wire management is something I also like to be nitpicky on, and Michael Blast does a pretty darn good job of keeping their wires nice and bundled together. No strays, nothing looks just like it just forgot to be attended to. It's all nice, man. It's all nicely done. I like that. It does jut out here a little bit for the light. You could probably shore that up. If this was your bike, you could probably figure that out how to get that, I don't know, a little bit better. You'll see it does, most of the wires do feed here into the down tube. Spit back out at the bottom bracket right there. Keep going to the motor. And uh, yeah, one other thing where it's not necessarily bad, but the, the kickstand here is right in the middle of the bike, which means you will get pedal lock if you try to, you know, pedal backwards. Um, with the kickstand deployed. So you can't, you can't bring the bike backwards with the kickstand right here. I prefer kickstands in the back, but having it in the middle does make the kickstand more stable. It makes the bike more stable when it's upright. Here in California, it's really windy. And even though I don't particularly like the kickstands in the middle, it's actually better. We've had bikes knocked over from the wind while we're filming. And whenever we have a middle a kickstand in the middle right here, again, more stability, it doesn't get knocked over. So. Maybe something to consider. You know, if you live in a windy, really windy area and you have your bike unattended for a second, maybe having a kickstand in the middle is actually better even though you get pedal lock. So I don't know, up to you guys. For the display on the Michael Blast VK here, let's try to get that into focus. I believe in you camera. I believe in you, there we go. <laughs> to turn it on, there's a little button right here in the back. You just gotta get a long press. And this is the same display we've seen on some of the other uh, Michael Blast bikes. Simple display, but Easy to see in direct sunlight, which is very, very important. Um, four bar battery indicator on the left. Current speed, you can switch from kilometers to mile per hour. Current pedal assist level, tripometer, and then I think if you tap the power button, it'll switch to, yeah, uh, odometer, and then back tripometer. So again, not tons of information, but enough. You'll see the little light button or light icon right there. If you want to turn that on and off, you can just hold the plus button. It'll turn off, or the plus button again. It turns on. If you want to enter settings, you just hold the plus and minus button down like this. It'll go right into settings and you can navigate pretty easily through here. You can change the backlight brightness, change the top speed like we talked about earlier. You can turn it from 15 miles per hour all the way up to 32 and uh, you can do whatever you want with that. And that is it for the display. Pretty simple stuff like I was saying. Um, this bike is pretty simple, but that's kind of the key to it. It's simple, it's easy to use, it's fun. Um, like just, I keep going back to, it's a lifestyle bike. It's for cruising, it's for going to places like this where it's just beautiful, nice trails and uh, just having a good time, man. So I think we've covered this bike um, in all of its glory. So let's take the Michael Blast VK out for a test ride. So here we go.
Okay, awesome peeps. That is pretty much it for the review of the Michael Blast VK electric bike right here. Again, in summary, this thing does start for $2,199, $21.99. Again, that is for the 350 watt version for the motor. The price does bump up quite considerably to $2,799 or $2,799 USD for the 500 watt version here. So big jump here. And look, what is this bike all about? The specs like we talked about are kind of impressive enough on this bike. There's some, there's some good specs on this bike, but more than anything, what this is really about, who this is going to appeal to is the lifestyle riders, right? The people who just want a bike where you get on your e-bike, you hit the throttle, and it's just fun. There's just like no other way to describe it. Is it the most practical bike? Nah, man, like you could get a cargo bike, you could throw stuff on the back, way more practical. Could you go like seriously off-road to this bike? Not really, this is like a road bike, like a beach bum bike, right? This is a lifestyle bike, guys. This is for turning heads, feeling good while you ride it. It's the same reason you would buy like a hot rod or a really cool sports car, right? It's just to have a good time. Maybe not the most practical, but definitely one of the most fun bikes you will see or probably ever ride in your life. It's one of the coolest ones we've seen. And again, man, the leather, like the little leather case covering the battery, such a small touch, but it really adds some seriously cool accents. My other favorite thing about this bike is definitely gonna be the headlight. Just really sweet piece of gear. And I love that it actually has enough lumen output to illuminate your path as opposed to just being a increase in visibility, you know what I'm saying? So nice, nice little difference right there. So awesome peeps, I hope you dug this review. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Please stay safe out there. COVID cases are back on the rise. Wear your mask if you got them, wash your hands if you can. And uh, yeah, man, just stay safe and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.